Let's look at a lecture from the integrated writing task and how it might look in note form. Because we have already read the article about this topic, we can be sure that the topic of the lecture will be using ethanol to replace gasoline. Because we know this, our main topic of ethanol will be abbreviated to a capital E that is circled. This tells me it is the main topic. Okay, listen to the lecture and follow along with my notes. Alright folks, today we're going to talk about some alternative fuels we could use to replace the use of gasoline in vehicles. I'm sure most of you know that ethanol has become a well-known as a possible replacement for gasoline. Now recently, reports have come out from scientists that criticize the use of ethanol in automobiles. However, when all these criticisms are researched properly, you'll find that they're pretty much false. Now first off, there really isn't any way that ethanol can cause starvation. It's absolutely true that ethanol requires a lot of corn, so yes, we will have to dedicate more cornfields for ethanol production. One would think that since we already have so many starving people out there in the world, this would be wasting a dwindling food supply. Well, let me let you in on a little secret. There is currently enough food to feed everyone in this world. How can this be possible with so many starving people? It's because the available food never gets to these people. Starvation is caused by unstable governments, war, lack of transport, not because we don't have enough food to feed everyone. So we don't have to worry about ethanol taking food away from starving people. We also don't have to worry about ethanol harming the environment. A couple of years ago, a scientist brought up the fact that corn isn't an environmentally friendly crop. He said that the large-scale corn production needed to produce ethanol would be highly damaging to the Earth's soil. He was partly correct, but today conservation efforts have become so advanced that we found new ways to reduce the soil erosion caused by crops like corn. This soil erosion will be a lot less than what the scientists predicted. Then there's this faulty assumption that the energy needed to produce ethanol will require more gasoline. This is 100% incorrect. Yes, ethanol does require a lot of energy to produce it, but most of this energy will be provided by coal and other natural gases. And unlike gasoline, we have plenty of coal available to use as energy. So, to sum it all up, ethanol is a pretty good alternative for gasoline. Most of the claims against it are false, and the benefits, many. As you can see, my notes are organized in an outline form, with main topics to the left and support under and to the right. I have used a combination of abbreviations and symbols that made my notes easier to write and read. You should notice that some of these abbreviations were created as I took the notes. This is what you need to practice. You need to practice making these abbreviations as you listen to new lectures. You need to practice remembering the common abbreviations, including any that you use all the time. You need to remember and use the symbols. Okay, so those were some tips on how to write abbreviations and use symbols in your note-taking. In the next video, I'll show you how to listen to a lecture.